Hey guys, we're back. Part two. So I actually conv I created a little convenient list <clears throat> on my phone here, which I'll refer to occasionally. Just everything I need to do. That way I don't get sidetracked, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I easily get sidetracked. I get distracted by all these stupid little things. And we're just going to go ahead and embrace the fast forward, by the way. So the reason I'm coming back in here is to get the bow, if you didn't put that together. jump was that? That looked really weird. Didn't that just look silly? Gotcha! Wait, is this even a key? It is. Okay, I'm like, why did I come in here? Okay, so, where do I go now? Can I? Is it possible to, uh... Huh. Is it possible to do this with two keys? Let me think about that. by one. Technically, I could have played the... Oh, wait. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, I need to go back. Doesn't matter. I still made progress. It saves the block positionings and stuff. I'm going to shoot that this time because uh, I don't want to waste too many Deku nuts. Do 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 So I guess we have to go this way. Whoa, what was that? That was weird. So I mean, basically we only have 22 for the rest of the game, with of course a chance of the occasional skeleton dropping one. Now this is a stupid question, but this isn't the boat, right? This is the map. Yeah, that's the map. We don't need that. The bow is in the middle of the dungeon, now that I think about it. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, here's some Deku nuts. We want to keep those nice and high. Believe it or not, I don't know where the second upgrade is. I actually don't know. Ah, I thought that was a key, actually. Well, that's lovely. So you have to come down here into this annoying area to get a key. I almost, I almost reset there and went back to the beginning of the dungeon, but that's kind of... It'll be a little bit excessive. It's for 
inconveniencing me. say we're not intended to have the bow at this point are we we get it in this room that makes sense because then you go back and fight the ghost It's all about the timing. I don't know the timing. <laughs> it's all about, there. there is like a rhythm to it. I imagine that some people know how to, <clears throat> you know, just totally get them into a rhythm. I know the timing somewhat, but I don't really know it. All right, we got the bow. Now what's next on my list here? Den's fire. Good, it automatically put bombs on my loadout. That's good. Saves me a little time. We will do Shadow Temple, mostly to get the hover boots. We'll have to walk it, I guess. Technically, I could play uh, Ballero, but that's arguably not much faster, if at all. I would have to make my way from Goron City, and I'm not convinced that that's faster. We will play Ballero when I have, when I'm full of rupees, though. All right, here we go. I <laughs> will be safe stating here. I'm not good at this. Save states on a three heart run. But, come on, it's seam walking. I mean, I could go through the whole process of, you know, trial and error, failing it over and over, and buying more bomb chews every time I fail it. I could do that. I don't think I've loaded a save state yet, have I? I should have put Den's Fire on my loadout right now, but... Some people are really good at this. They can just boom right into the dungeon. See, I can't even walk in a straight line. I'm bad. When you do get the magic angle, though, it feels good. See, that's a little scary. Perfect. I stepped a little aggressively there, but it worked.
Good. And if you don't have Den's Fire, you can go up to the top and do a side hop down through this cavern to, uh... You know, as an alternative means, basically. But I do have Den's Fire, so... Guaranteed, one out of five chance. Here we go. Okay. See, I didn't even save state because I, I knew. I knew. But I was wrong. That's what I get for having faith. Let's try again. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, let's go for it. And if this doesn't work, I'll just press reset. <laughs> I did say, right? I believe. I believe. Here we go. I believe. <laughs> Which, that didn't happen. Say zero deaths. That didn't happen. That was an optical illusion. All right. I believe. I believe in the power of a one out of five chance. It's always this one. Always. Always this one. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, that's awkward. Always skull number two. Every single time. Here we go. Um, Alright. It's always skull number two. Every time. Every single time. Always that one. I told you. Drop hearts? That's kind of cruel. Can I get a heart so we don't have to listen to beep, beep, beep? Oh, I what am I thinking? I don't need a map. Come on. Oh, good, good, good. Always take a Deku nut. Is this a Deku nut? I doubt it. Deku nuts are always welcome. Wish I knew where that second upgrade was. Let's see if we can one cycle grandma. Got her with the master sword. One cycle. Got the hover boots. Now, the rest of the game really should just be kind of a breeze. Can we get the Deku Nuts again? Nope. Because, here's the thing. The only temple I have to do to completion would be... fire temple. Gotta do the whole fire temple. There, Granted, there is a way of bypassing some stuff in there, but most of those tricks, like the weird shot and like other things that involve doing a bunch of bomb chew treachery, 
Not fun. Not fun. Now, is this the compass in here? Because I do not want the compass. But I do want a small key. So I'm coming in here hoping it's a small key. That's what we're looking for. That's the compass. Okay. So that indicates that there's a small key in the prison uh, cell to the right here. In this room. Because I'm not sure if we otherwise can get a small key. That's the concern here. So yeah, let's grab this one. 163 rupees. I, I, I'm not so fond of that. I wish we had 200, because I don't know where we're going to get 37 rupees. Not that it matters, but it's just like... it. I, I mean, rupees are infinite in this game, essentially, but it's just better if you can get them along the way, you know? Rather than having to make a special trip to collect them. I just realized I'm stupid, because I can get them in, in the Goron pot. It's that simple. There we go. If anyone knows the setup for this, please let me know, because I do not know it. I was, I feel like that was close. I might not be angled enough. There it is. Okay. Shouldn't have put the nuts away, but that's okay. <sighs> put my nuts away. My love, put my nuts away. Hey. Can you believe that? Let's do... What's the consequence of saying no? We'll just say. Because I was afraid it would erase some progress, so we'll see how many times I die on this. I should have just backflipped or something to get out of the way. Okay. There we go. Now we're thinking. Because I, I will have to use the bow on uh, boss. I didn't even have to fight the skeletons. I mean, I was just fighting them for fun anyway. See, that's the trick. They they rotate around a little and then they drop the shield. It's not like you can just keep spamming them or something. You have to wait. See? I'd like to learn how to do that a little better. That'll be interesting if that pays off, that game over. You think that'll happen? Because I just got five Deku nuts. We'll see how many Deku nuts I use during this run. Because otherwise he would have fallen off after that sword swing. And I just think that'll be funny if it turns out to be worth it. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. Big key. It's right over here. I 
can just do this, right? How do I get back over there? I've never had this happen, so uh, can I do this? Of course not. Am I missing something? Let's do it this way. That'll work. <laughs> I was gonna have a bomb hover. stuck on those little things. <clears throat> That's annoying. Do, 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 do. Right. So water temple will be super easy. Oh, by the way, there is a way to bypass the shadow temple door. But I just, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, you do it with a bomb shoe. I, I mean, I vaguely know how to do it. I've never executed it properly. One cycle with Master Sword. Here we go. Got it. So I believe my list says Epona. You know what? We'll do it via other means. How about that? We'll make it things even more interesting. Save save just in case. So instead of stealing Epona by backflipping, and in fact, let's 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 be smart about this. Let's be a little patient. Let's take two seconds. And go get a bigger sword. Make our life a little bit easier. And you know what? I might end up buying the sword twice. And that's fine if that happens. There's a reason I'm doing it like this. At this point, it's probably faster to do it like this. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is hookshotting across. Let's get Epona. You know why? I'll show you why. Kidding? What happened there? What went wrong? I'm not an ISG, am I? There it is. 
line up with the fence. One step forward. <laughs> what is happening? Alright, I'm gonna waste all my bombs. I'm simply not doing it fast enough. Okay, I keep forgetting I can't load state. That's fine. Let's do, let's just run over here real quick and get more bombs. Where do you get the big bomb bag? Totally forget, I'm really drawing a blank on that. Would it be from Big Rolling Goron? Is that a big bomb bag or is that a heart piece? Can't remember. You could totally load up on bombs. Whoops, there's one. There it is. And maybe I should go with the hook shot method, but we're gonna we're just gonna steal a bone. That's a little bit more reliable. something like that happen again. There we go, that's all I had to do. Okay, so now we've unlocked Depona. Not paying those guys 50 rupees to get my own horse. My horse. I'm entitled to it. You know what? I want to show you why I have problems with this first. This is the hookshot method. And I'm just going to say... Oh, wait. So if I save state... I'm going to show you anyway. I don't care. I can't load my save states, but I keep doing them anyway just in case. So here's my hookshot method. One... and then one more. There. And then... There's the hookshot extension. And now here's my problem with it. I swear when I... when... it depends how Link is breathing. That's my problem with it. Am I going to show you? Probably, because I'm crazy. And the thing is, so if I hold up and right, sometimes it goes down, sometimes the link goes down and to the left, sometimes if you're lucky, he will grab the bridge like you want him to. It's just arbitrary whether it works or not, as far as I can see. If someone knows how to do this properly, please tell me, because I've been trying to figure this out forever. Let's see if I get lucky. I got lucky. So there, I didn't even need to steal Epona. But half the time, Link just goes down into the left and he doesn't he doesn't go into the spot where you can grab the bridge. Why? I don't know. If someone has an answer for that, well, hopefully somebody tells me. That would be awesome. Let's 
try. <laughs> See, I'm used to randomizer. I play on a setting where you only have to rescue one carpenter. So, this kind of sucks. Got to do the whole thing. You don't need to shoot her at all. Slowest dialogue in the world. These are the biggest cheaters in the world, too. I mean, look at that. I can't see what I'm doing. Freaking losers. What a loser strategy. Blocking my screen. Now, do we go... I forget which way to go here. Is this one? It must be. smiling because I'm thinking of that stupid skeleton that got me earlier. <laughs> that was one of the dumbest things I've ever freaking seen in this game. He barely got me and he got me through a freaking wooden boat. BS. Ooh. Shot in the side of the head. If it crosses lobes, you're pretty much dead. That's what I've heard. Try to count how many Deku nuts I need for the rest of the run. So personally, I like to have I like to have Deku nuts anytime I fight skeletons, which I think I only have to fight two skeletons the entire rest of the run. Maybe, maybe not. That seems that seems right to me. The two in Ganon's tower, right? Is that it? So typically, you like to have about like three to four nuts because it just helps per skeleton too low yep a little too low See, I save state, but again, I can't load it, so I have to do it properly. I need to just disable retro achievements is what I need to do.
Now, there's several ways you can do this. Whoa, getting stuck in the sand is not one of them. This is scary. This is actually scary with this amount of hearts. Drop me hearts, drop me hearts. Drop me a heart. Yeah, there we go. Now I feel better. I'll just do a spin attack. If they get near me, I'll just spin attack. It's that simple. Then I don't have to live my life in fear. On my tombstone when I die, I wanted to say, here lies cool guy 487. He died from a lever attack. A senseless lever attack. So majestic. <laughs> I find Link's mannerisms kind of... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about him. So... There's two ways to do this, like I was saying. I could either go back to Child and do Child Side and get the, the Silver Gauntlets. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little hard without the uh, Silver Gauntlets and without save states, because I have to get on this snake and then I have to do a difficult roll with the hover boots to get in. And I I don't think I've ever had to do this without save states. But I think I can do it. I think I've done it enough in randomizer that it's somewhat... I, I, I know how to do it somewhat. Let's just put it that way. There's a setup to get up on top of that snake easily too, but this is how I do it. I wish there was better information on this game, because I feel like... I feel like... Um, this game should have more of a database of, like, all the tricks and stuff. Like, someone... Maybe maybe it exists and I'm just not aware of it. Somebody needs to create a database for all the tricks of this game and, like, put it on YouTube. I mean, every trick. Every single trick. Every known trick needs to be on there. I don't know why I'm save stating, but... Probably because subconsciously I knew I would get it that time. Okay, so now what I need to do is... Ugh, I don't know if it's good to put the boots on that early. It's better to take a step forward first. This is going to be a little bit weird. There we go. That way I have traction to start with. That way I'm a little bit faster. I do not feel confident about this. Yeah, exactly. Because I had a weird angle there. I could always get the silver gauntlets, and I like the way they look better on the hands. So, if I fail at this, like, repeatedly, 
If I fail at this ad nauseum, I'll just go get silver gauntlets. Alright. Fingers crossed. Step forward with the traction. Got it. I just need to believe in myself more, that's all. <laughs> oh, wasting a Deku nut on a wolf? Seriously? But I kind of just did it reflexively. Now wait, is Wolf Room... Does this contain a... Ugh, I don't need that. I need... I need a key. Don't tell me I have to do Child Side. Did I forget? Is that what's happening here? This is a key, right? Right? Thank goodness. If that was not a key, I probably would have shit a brick, I'm not gonna lie. I did not want to do child side if I didn't have to. Especially not after I got my ass in here. Are you? Hello? 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 You're scaring me. Now, I think this might be a key, so I'll check it. The other one's definitely a freeze trap. Alright. Uh, now that's the compass down there, right? Let's check. That's the compass. Don't need that. Okay, now if I play ZL... Well, let's do this room on the right. I, I just forget where the small keys are. I only need two of them. Wow, that sword has some range. Just like somebody else's sword has some range. certain skeleton. <laughs> I still can't believe that crap. Alright. Now this better get me a key. Two keys, in fact. There was some dude on, I want to say, Game Facts a while back, back in the day. Seriously, a bloopy? Are you serious? Anyway, there was this guy on Game Facts who insisted. He's like, you're supposed to do, you're meant to do the uh, Shadow Temple last. It's supposed to go spirit, then shadow. Are you stupid? Like, he was very uppity about this idea. It's like, are you kidding? Whoops. You know what? Let's wear the green tunic for a while. Just change it up. But everybody tore that guy apart. Because, no. There's not a, there's not a like, factual way you're supposed to do this. There's not, like, a mandatory, like, required way of doing it. You can do it however you want. That's part of the reason this game's so fun. I'm gonna put the fire tunic back on since I'm on fire. Freaking dick. No. 
I'm gonna catch him. Him and his whole family on fire. How about that? And I'm gonna take all your money, too. Oh, by the way, part of the reason I'm doing the spirit temple before fire and water is because I want to get the mirror shield. It's just that simple. I just want to have a cool looking shield on my back. Makes me feel better. Alright, fingers crossed that we beat this guy. Let's save state just in case. See, I hate when you get bonked away slightly. That's when you die. Cool. See, I actually, I like the way that the Zora tunic looks. Red is my favorite color. I like the way the Zora tunic looks though. because it contrasts nicely with the mirror shield. Then you got the silver with the red and the blue. It just looks it just looks very elegant. This looks cool too though, the red and the red. All right, and that's the final key that we need. chance I'll kill them? Of course not. One sh at least one of these should drop some bombs for me. A rupee and a bomb. Yeah, this is the one room where you want the long shot. Otherwise, I feel like the long shot is actually a disadvantage, believe it or not. People will debate me on that, understandably so. But the reason I think that the long shot is worse is because when you're fighting Morpha, you don't get as many chances to shoot it if you miss with the long shot. It's essentially reducing your fire rate. Now, I think that the, the big key for the dungeon is in here. And we can bypass the big key. However, um, if I can just, yeah, I can just touch this slug and grab it. So that's faster. We'll just do this. We'll do it this way. I love the sheer amount of tricks in this game. There's all kinds of cool little things. That's what makes it so much fun. What is this? Bombs. I already had enough bombs. I would have preferred maybe some rope or lantern oil. Ah, oh, come on. If you let him whack you, it actually frees you. That was a bad example. Ideally, he would whack you, like, right when you start pushing it. Because then it, it frees you from the animation, but it continues to push the thing. Datang. Load up Datang. Yeah, I mean, clearly I'm trying to find a heart. Come on, I'm about to fight a boss. actually kill me because I could get bombed away. Whew. Barely. Alright. And 
Now, we, we could potentially waste our big sword on these witches, but not necessarily. It, it probably will break, but not necessarily. It's not a waste, it's, that's using it. That's using it properly. That's the proper way to look at it. That's good usage of your sword. There's nothing better to use your sword on than the bosses. I mean, it makes sense. I knew some guy who would like hyper-conserve everything in video games. He would never use anything. So, in Pokemon, he would, he would like save every single potion. He would literally die and go back to the Pokemon Center. And I tried to explain to him, when you die, you lose like 300 or 400, and a potion is worth like 200. So it's better if you just go ahead and bite the bullet and use your potion. You're supposed to use your resources. In fact, I would argue, this is my opinion, I think the most aggressive strategies tend to be the best ones. That's If you watch a speedrun of any game that involves buying items and stuff, going ahead and, and expending your resources seems to be, rather than preserving, expending your resources is the, is the best strategy, even on things that you would consider foolish. first three are always the same, it seems like. I've never seen it not be the case. Now, hopefully I do this right. You don't want to press the button too fast when you're jumping across. There we go. Okay, I broke my sword because I did it. I bongled that a little bit. But I have 200. I'll just go buy another one. I should have watched, watched the witches bickering at each other, it's funny. Okay, so, I mean, do I have to do fire now? If I really wanted to go crazy, what I could do is... Can you guys even see me anymore? I noticed that it got significantly darker over the last hour. Whatever. If I really wanted to go crazy, I could bomb hover over to Ganon's tower and do that out of order. And then my final boss would be Morpha. I think that would be funny, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> We want the final boss to begin. That feels more appropriate. Giant knife. Now, will four Deku nuts? I'm still thinking about that. Will that? suffice for the rest of the run? I hope so. I don't use them on Ganon, although that is a good option if you're a noob. See, normally you use this angle or something, and you can actually... I don't know how you would even look this up on YouTube, but... You can somehow, like, float all the way up through there with bomb shoes. I don't know how to do it. I'm not interested in trying it, frankly. It looks ridiculous. It doesn't look fun. I'd rather just go ahead and bite the bullet and do the dungeon. Excuse me. Like, the way I see it, I don't, I don't release them because, I mean, I, I opened the door. I mean, you, you're free to go. Come on. You don't need my permission to leave your cage.
Like, come on, have some sense. I don't have time to talk to them. Like, like I have to verify with them that I'm letting them out. Like, take advantage of... Maybe, maybe I'm the warden and I've gone insane. I've gone senile. And I just accidentally let you out of your cage. Ooh. Well, take advantage of opportunity, man. Pay attention. Well, I guess this must be a small key because we have two key doors coming up here. Heart. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? There's a key and peel skit that I forgot about. It's a classic. It's about a, like, nincompoop guard. He's like, the the inmate jokes with him. He's like, uh, yeah, the warden said that we're all free to go. You can let us out of our cage now. And the guy goes, like Mr. Gullible in the Amanda show. He goes, he's like, really? He's like, he said that? And he's like, and the guy goes, uh, yeah, he said that. And then he goes, oh, okay. And he lets him out. And then it becomes a big fiasco. And he just keeps falling for it every single time. He falls for his tricks like three or four times in a row. Before I continue, let me adjust some settings in the room real quick. Be right back. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Uh, I don't know where the small keys are, nor do I know where I need to go and where I don't, to be perfectly honest. So I'm pretty much going to be doing this entire dungeon including the Pierre area. Do everything. Grab this, even though it might not even be a key. It is a key. Now, I believe that's a compass. Or is it some sort of key? Or something. I have to check it. I have to check it because I questioned it. Meh. Meh. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I could at least identify where the compass is, then I'll know that I have to get everything else, because other than that, it would all be like small keys. And the occasional bloopy, of course. Now, what about down there? That must be a small key over there. Can I get away with this? Oh. 
That's a really pain in the butt spot for a small key. Too bad they didn't put the compass in there. I have a feeling that our compass is down in this hole here. And that's kind of a pain in the butt, but whatever. We'll just have to climb back up, I guess. Oh, jeez. Ah, it is a small key. Or is it? I assume it is. song. wonder if anybody ever actually made a creative Scarecrow song and then forgot it later and had to go redo it and did something like that. Down, 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 left. There's another Skultula right there, but I don't need it. I only removed that one because guess how much damage they do. One damage. One heart. I might not make it. <laughs> See, you don't even have to come up here. That's cool. I hope I don't die here. That actually killed me, okay. I see, I thought... So, there's my second death. I thought I could grab those hearts there. It's not a big deal. Well, that's another giant's knife. If I need one. I won't need one, but... <laughs> that's funny. I just, I had full confidence that I could get away with that, so... Let's just leave the hover boots on. I don't feel like pressing pause every second. Is the block ever going to come down? Now I have to take the boots off. Oh, I think we can do a little skip here. Is this the compass in here? It must be. If it's big, I'm out. Bye-bye. That's the compass. So, instead of having to waste our key and go all the way around the room... Let me grab that. I don't know why, but I'm doing it. Since we have the hover boots, I can just do it this way. Well, that's if you do it properly. You need the hammer. So you do have to go this way. Honestly, people, people bitched endlessly back in the day about the water temple. I just, I can't believe you people had a good experience with this temple. To me, this temple's really boring and stupid and it's too big and if you die, you have to go all the way back up and it's just dumb, it's not fun. To me, actually, I would I would nominate this as the worst temple in a Zelda game. It's so boring. And plus, they make you fight this thing twice because they were so freaking uncreative when it came to this temple.
Hi, kitty. What you doing, kitty? What's my kitty doing? What you doing, kitty? What you doing? Using the uh, hover boots, you have better, you actually have better traction here. Not traction, that's not the right word, but you're less likely to, you're less likely to fall off, in my opinion. See, I knew I would get hit there, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We have to go get that key. Good thing I opened the shortcut earlier. Kitty, you're not supposed to do that. Hey, don't do that. Come show yourself to the camera. Come here. Are you my kitty? Are you my kitty? That's another reason to dislike this temple. Wonder why it resets this block. Really? Oh, they reset this room too, so if if you don't do that, you have to do it. I mean you have to do that every single time. The block that I just looked at. Like that's that's another stupid thing. Where am I going? I know where I'm going now, okay. Kitty, the exit's on the right. Are you crazy? You can go back up there if you want to, Kitty. It button, you need the megatone hammer. Oh my goodness, these boots. Back down to the bottom. some way to get the Megaton Hammer faster, that would be great. Because it's all the way at the top of this terrible dungeon. Okay. 
What's this? Bombs? Is this... Did I get flipped around there somehow? Okay. And now the Goron's gone, so he left. He's a smart one. He actually leaves. Now they're... Oh, he leaves too. So they do leave. Good. They leave regardless. You don't even have to talk to them. There's two ways to do this part. Number one, you can use the hover boots. Number two, if you're close enough to the wall here, you can just kind of jump over to it, but I'm doing it wrong. Just gotta rotate 90 degrees. What is going on here? I'll use the hover boots if I fail it one more time. It's real, it's real simple. One more try. I just didn't want to put... I didn't want to press pause, that's all. I can't even rotate 90 degrees properly. There it is. It's real easy. Here we go. Now the cool thing about this is you can preserve sword swings by using the hammer. So... You definitely want to use the hammer on this boss, because then he only does, uh, you hit him three times rather than four. I'm just going to go ahead and swing there. That's fine. Whoa. I think I'm dead if I get hit again. Oh my goodness. Cow. He almost got me. Or she. Wouldn't want to be sexist. Or misgender the dragon. Uh, let's see. And then it's just Morpha and it's the end. And we did everything in this particular order for a reason, because now we have the hammer, and now the water temple will be a breeze. What's our fastest route to the water temple? Unfortunately, it's probably going this way. And almost as a flex, I mean, I've already died twice, but I would like to have one heart just to prove how easy this is, but at the same time, I don't want to listen to that damn beeping. <laughs> So I went out and got the heart. <laughs> what the heck? We'll go green now. We're putting the red back on. The reason I'm so indecisive, to me that looks bad. It reminds me of Christmas. People are going to say, oh my god, what's wrong with Christmas? Number one, I don't like holidays. Number two, green and red, ugh, clashes. Ugh, icky. You want nice complementary colors. Orange and blue. Yellow and purple. That looks cool. Things that look nice together. That's why in Portal, in the game Portal, they did orange and blue. Just looks good. They look good together. They're meant for one another. There's something about that, the duality there, of those two colors. There's just something about the way it looks. Where's my map? The one time I want the map. See, this is the only downside to not doing ice. Because if you do the ice dungeon, you get a uh, serenade. As well as the iron boots. We do not need the iron boots. We're just going to do this. Of course, I don't have the sword out, so... I probably could have handled that better anyway, but... Is that good? That's it. My friend was texting me about a polyamorous couple. <laughs> Let's 
let's see. What could that text possibly be about? Oh, okay. Apparently there's a polyamorous comedian. I thought it said couple on America's Got Talent. I feel weird now, like, I barely talked about anything during this video, and then I just... I don't know. <laughs> I talked about the game the whole time, and then I started talking about that. <sighs> what do we have here? Oh, wait, I forgot the key. Oh, wait, I don't need it. Oh, you know what? This is going to be rough because uh, I don't have save states. Hopefully I get it the first try. Can't save state. It's not too hard. It's just precise timing. That's the thing. <laughs> of course, I don't do it right. That's not fun. Normally, I save state like a madman during this process. So, I'll show you. I save state right here, just in case I mess this part up. Right here. A little too early. At least I got uh, ISG like a boss there. Good. And now you have to wait for the big blue frame or the big red frame. A little too early again. I don't like doing it like this. There it is. And then you just unpause, and halfway through the unpause animation, you press B. It's that simple. There we go. And now, I don't like this situation because, um, normally the fight just immediately starts when you're in randomizer. I don't like going out onto the pillar. I don't like starting from that position. Maybe it throws you to the wall or something? No? Okay, I don't- I just don't like starting here. There's something about it. I prefer starting here. It should be okay. And I'm not talented enough to pull out the hammer and, like, preserve my sword swings. So, we're not doing that. We'll do it like this. Just corral it to the corner. One more, and then B, and then A. And then you just uh, power crouch stab it to death. It was a totally a good use of a sword. Is that all the medallions? This doesn't feel right. I don't want this journey to end. It's been so much fun. Here's another questionable Link moment. Just goes and stands by Sheik lovingly. Of course, one step forward so that Sheik can easily get away unnotice with the loud footsteps the loud crunching footsteps and then oh my god you're gone 
suddenly she tr climbed the tree. She. There's a big debate as to whether Sheik is a male or a female. I think I brought this up in my last Zelda video. It's Zelda, so it's a female. Oh, spoiler alert. I mean, you're about to find out anyway. We'll grab another sword. text my friend about the comedian real quick. I'll just ask if the comedian was any good. People complain about the weapon deterioration in Breath of the Wild. How about the weapon deterioration in this freaking game? No one complains about that. Alright. My friend says no, the comedian was not funny. That's too bad. I think Louis C.K. is the funniest comedian. I'm just gonna say it. I think it's really stupid when people do the cancel culture thing and they... I mean, did they look to Louis C.K. as a freaking priest or something? Did they look to him for moral, you know? I didn't. There we go. Got the light arrow. I think there's another cutscene after this, unfortunately. We know that there's at least one more in addition to all that, so... Now, some of you will consider the skip that I'm about to do here to be kind of lame. So there's another cutscene after this one, too. Oh, okay, that's not really a cutscene. That's not a full-blown cutscene, that's a partial cutscene. Some of you will consider this lame, and I just don't care. I'm doing it. It's this... This dungeon sucks. It's boring. I skipped the forest temple, which is a good temple. So, I mean, come on. Whoops. If I'm allowed to skip forest, then I'm allowed to skip this one. Granted, I did go back in and get the bow, but that's a side point. I think you pull it out twice. Is that right, or is it once? One... Two. That's how I remember it, but I could be wrong. There we go. And now I can't, I don't know how to do this, to be perfectly honest. I just kind of wing it. You just have to kind of approximate. So I personally, I think that I'm a little bit too far to the right. So I'm going to, I'm going to, just side hop to the... There we go. And now, I think if I walk forward, that's it. I could be wrong, though. That's it. Barrier skip. Hey, look, that death to that one thing paid off, didn't it? We'll preserve the big sword for a second here. We'll just spin attack these guys. That's fine. There 
Now you don't want to nick the sword here, so we're going to try to do this a little bit precisely. There we go. That's fine. Run right back up. That was pretty rough. <laughs> okay. So, believe it or not, I think the black one will be gone now. We'll see. You might have to kill both of them. We'll see. What, three deaths in the tower? That kind of sucks. Oh, another cussing. That kind of sucks. Now this is where a bottle would come in handy. I actually wanted to do this with the bottle, in fact, but... Should I go grab a bottle? That'd be kind of a cool way to end this, but... If he kills me one more time, I'm gonna go grab a bottle, just for fun. Hopefully I saved after the cutscene, because I don't think you have to watch it again if you die. sword. Not that I need it anymore. You know what? The sword, the sword can come in handy at this part, because I do have to fight two more skeletons, don't I? What happens if I die to the skeletons? Do I have to beat Ganon again? <laughs> that sucks. I think I'll die even without the nuts. I gotta I have to learn more about this game. I don't know where the bomb bags are, I don't know where the second nut upgrade is. I know there's another Deku. Is it the it's not the Deku between the fences, is it? I think he sells a heart piece for only 10 rupees. That sounds right to me. Could be wrong. This is arguably the lamest escape sequence ever. 
It's just so, there's like nothing to this. It's just dumb. Ah. Ah! Starts you from the beginning of the stupid escape sequence, of course. Ganondorf again so I can do it with the bottle trip. That'd at least be interesting. I mean, what is this room? What was the point of that? See what I mean? Like, there's just nothing to it, sort of. Just kind of... Oh, here I don't even have my sword out. Where are- oh, 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 I thought I would already initiated the fight. See, I knew he was jumping, that's why I went ahead and swinged. Swang? Swung? Swang. Swing, swang, swung. But it's just hard to react when they're off screen. Totally lame. Where I just walk around the rocks. And walk down some more and walk into another room with the skeletons and they kill you again. I might do this again sometime. But, you know, without dying. That'll be a challenge. There we go. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, some Deku nuts. <laughs> Zelda gasps like I'm gonna fall off. when she gasps. I hate when that thing screams. Zelda, did you not see the zombie? That's why you just don't pay attention to anything. It's better to just not pay attention. You ever notice when you're mowing and you have your headphones on, you don't notice all the bees and the wasps floating around your head. Then you're not scared of them. That's my life tip for you guys. Just don't pay attention. Stop paying attention. It's for safety purposes. Could save your life. Don't pay attention.
See, I wasn't really paying attention there, and look what happened. I beat the game. I actually zoned out, like I got into a flow, I got into a rhythm. And I was just like... <sighs> we'll let the end play out, I guess, even though I'm fast forwarding. you a damn it a my arch nemesis a <laughs> we'll, we'll look at Zelda and like floating around in the sky I guess my friend texting me about AGT again probably Okay. Apparently there was a danger act. The person walked on knives. That's cool. Thank you, A. The hero. <laughs> the hero, A. His name was A. Lord A. I just love seeing all the characters refer to you as A. It's like the man who could defeat the ultimate evil, but was too lazy to type his name in. Here we go. I'm being bombarded with text messages, so I was actually going to let the whole end of the thing play out with the credits and the dancing and the festivities or whatever, but uh, bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>